my dad was dying of cancer, and um, I went into his house and discovered that when I went to clean it out, when he was dying of cancer two months away, he was 67 years old when he died, um, that he was uh, doing the same thing I was, I thought, and I wasn't quite sure. So I went to the hospital and asked him, and um, sure enough, he was. He admitted to me and told me his story, and it was much the same as mine, um, that he had done the same thing of wanting to do it as a child and suppressing it through adulthood, and then finally it comes back like a big tidal wave later in life. And that's what it had, well, that's what happened to me. He was able to, never able to embrace who he really was. I have luckily been able to, but at the same time, I haven't been able to do any of the things, nor I really have that much desire to, to do all the things that Caitlin has done in such a short time. But like you know, many of you, I'm, a, um, I'm a, a white male you know, originally, but I haven't been able to afford all these surgeries. And, um, <laughs> you know. So let me ask Dr. Bowers, who does these surgeries, is, is there, your insurance is increasingly gaining, allowing access, or at least maybe, maybe Medi-Cal, Medicare, whatever, Medicaid, insurances, no? It's dramatic. I mean, 12 years ago when I first started doing transgender surgery, there was virtually no one covered by insurance. Now we have nine states, including California, that mandate it for employers to cover it for their employees. But, but that's for the sexual reassignment. Does that include what? But uh, there are many. But but also increasingly, breast augmentation and even facial feminization surgery, which is arguably the most important surgery for some, because that's the first thing we see. And Anne's on, story helps me. It makes me think of another issue, which is the genetics of transgender. Is there any hint about that yet? Have you seen what well, there kind is, of stories actually, Anne was talking there are, about? There are, there are studies of twins that show that identical twins, there is an increased likelihood of the second of the twin uh, also, uh, uh, you know, feeling that. But, of course, uh, much of this is dictated not just by genetics, but also by environment and perhaps uh, a diet even. Um, there, are, there are estrogen modulators out in the environment. There are, uh, you know, so there are a lot of factors that go into why it's there. But I think it's just part of biology and it's part of who we are as nature. And if you think about it, when you, it comes to when it comes to biology, where else in biology are there only two choices but with gender? 